This is a balanced package. Uh, we could go for now for, a, for a, a, a national lockdown again. I think many people would think that was uh, extreme and, uh, and, and it would do a great deal of uh, extra uh, harm to our economy, to our ability to, uh, we'd, we'd have to take kids out of school. It would do a, a lot of immediate harm. We don't want to go down that extreme route right now. Uh, no, Helen, I don't accept that at all. And uh, the, the, I think the difference between uh, this bout of the of the pandemic and the and the first one is is how much more localised uh, it is. And uh, we took measures uh, on a, on a national basis then uh, at every stage and on on the basis of the scientific advice. That's that's what we did. Uh, all I can say, Charlotte, and to, to millions who are wondering the same question is that uh, we'll do our absolute best to, to try to make sure that we get life back to as close to uh, normal as possible for, for Christmas. But it, that is going to depend, I'm afraid, on our success uh, in uh, getting uh, this virus down and our ability as a country to uh, follow through on the, on the package of, of measures. And, uh, I, I've said it before and I've said it again, but uh, it will uh, mean that in those local areas that we've talked about, uh, we're not only going to have to intensify uh, the, uh, the measures, but we're going to have to uh, enforce generally the, the social distancing, the rules, the guidance, hands, face, space, uh, get a test if you have symptoms, self-isolate if you're contacted by NHS uh, test and trace. All that basic stuff is essential. Uh, if we're going to come out of this and allow people to have anything like uh, a normal Christmas. Uh, but Chris if we had not been doing all the things that everybody is currently doing, if there had not been every, in every business a real attempt to try and be COVID secure and to limit the amounts of transmission, if people were not seeing fewer, fewer numbers of people, which is clearly happening across society, the rates that we're seeing in these graphs would be substantially higher, in my view, and certainly, I think, in general, general most people's view, significantly higher across the whole country. So what people are doing now are significantly reducing the rates compared to where they would have been, but what we can see is that we need to go further uh, or these rates will continue inexorably to rise.